So we are at the Measurement Science Conference in Pasadena, California, and uh, Dave Postetter from Fluke is going to show us how the new 5520A calibrator works. Okay, the 5522 calibrator is new this year. It replaces the venerable 5520 calibrator. The feature that I'd like to show you here is the ability for it to withstand reverse voltage inputs that might occur when a technician accidentally applies a voltage to the input terminals which in the old calibrator would destroy several circuit boards inside, but with the new one, has protection built in to enable it to withstand that kind of accident. Okay, Dave, show us how that works. Okay, so we have here, when I hit operate, we're putting out now 10 kilo ohms across these terminals. And here we have a device, which is an insulation tester, and I'll have it when I press the test button, I will have 500 volts applied to the front end of this, and hopefully what happens is that we'll have an error message come up and the unit will shut off, go to standby mode. So let's try this test. There we go. And in fact, it put out 500, and 500 volts, as you can see, mm -hmm. and we went to standby and it says error. Uh, there's an input, a voltage input limit was re exceeded and press the soft key to continue. And now, you can correct the problem if you're the technician, remove the damaging voltage, and then you can go back to your test and put in another 10K ohms of resistance if you like to. Oop, I have to start over again. Up, messed up. I have to click.